Hello everybody. So today is just going to be a quick braid out. I'm going to show you how I get like the most volume from my braids. Well, from my braid out. And also the products that I use to achieve the braid out. And also the rollers that I use at the ends. Because I feel like it's very important for you to roll your ends so that you have, that's what gives you more volume. So starting out, I'm sorry, I went outside and like the mosquitoes was on me. You hear me? They was on me. Uh, anyway, so starting off, I for some reason I like my bang over on this side. So this is how I'm going to braid it out. But um, starting off, I'm just going to part my hair and I've already moisturized my hair for today uh, using the same thing that I that I always use just water and a little bit of moisturizer like your favorite moisturizer or also a little bit of oil I concentrate more so on my ends than anything because um, your ends or they get like I guess less oil like less of your natural oil the oil that your hair produces so I mostly concentrate on my ends my roots are always good though because I hydrate my hair a lot so my hair doesn't like really um flake up and stuff like that like I don't really have to worry about that as far as my hair goes but I do wet my hair twice a day so maybe that has something to do with it maybe it doesn't I don't know anyways so we're just gonna start by taking a section of here like that and I'm just gonna mousse it down don't worry y'all I got some more mousse but I'm also using a lot of body too it's not my favorite mousse and I always say that my favorite mousse is by design essentials so this is not my favorite mousse but um, as far as um, products go that you can obtain without having a license this is it so Just gonna kind of mousse it down and you want to be very precise when you're doing your braid out you want to make sure that your finger goes all the way through just like that you want to make sure that you have a clean finger coming out so that you can have a crisp braid out and don't braid your hair too tight because you know you gotta sleep with this on your head now so don't be pulling Mm-hmm. I feel like that's still a little tight. Okay. And these are the rollers that I decided to use for today. And that is a process that you want to repeat around this section. All of this, I'm going to braid to my front. And I'm going to show you guys how I go about braiding this section of my hair. Because this is actually where I want the most volume. So since this is where I want the most volume, I'm going to kind of go ahead and um, segregate it from the rest. Hopefully that will stay. And I'm just going to keep on braiding, going down, and applying rollers to the ends of my hair.
Okay, so I have the front, I mean, not the front, I'm sorry, the surrounding area besides the front done. Okay, okay so now for the top part, I'm going to kind of curve them this way so that it falls this way but still frontward. You know what I'm saying? Like, does that make sense? Like, I don't know. I'm going to just write it so then y'all can see what I mean at the end of the day. You get what I'm saying? Okay, so a full view of my head would look like. So now I'm just gonna sit under the dryer for about two hours, uh, maybe an hour and 30 minutes, it depends. Um, until my ends, the, the roller part is like the part that takes the longest to dry, so. I'm just really kind of concentrating on that. So I'll be back with the finished products and I'll show you guys how I take it out. Okay. Hey y'all. So I'm back with the takedown. Excuse this bump. Like, it will not pop, y'all. Like, okay. I can't stress what I can't change. So, anyways, we're about to start with the takedown. And I actually did uh, slip overnight with them in my head versus just half sitting under the dryer for like one or two hours because I did it late last night. So it was like the longer the better anyways, you know, it was really gave it enough time to like really, really set. gonna start with the takedown and I braided in my braids like really tight so as you see I'm kind of breaking my fingers trying to get these braids out but they're about to be really crispy Really, <laughs> I love y'all. Okay. And continue. Okay, so now do you see why I did the two layers for my volume? Because, honey volume you have that that's it you have that volume so now i'm just gonna kind of style it i actually found some cute little embellishments at the beauty supply house for a dollar um it's kind of blurry yeah for a dollar and they actually came with little bobby pins and you stick them through the hoop I have another pack I did get another pack for somebody so if you guys could leave your mailing address or a PO box I'll send you the other one along with um I have another pack of the rollers so I can send that too and I still have that hair dye um, if someone wanted to do red I still have that and I'm willing to send it out um, so you just slide it in 
and keep it flat. And also, a quick little um, tidbit that I know is kind of important when you want to kind of get it to stay, but you still want your volume, you just take your styling spray, spray a little bit. It wasn't coming out. So spray a little bit and then take your diffuser. I feel like a diffuser is very, very, very important if you have micro locks or sister locks because it's very easy to dry your locks. So put your diffuser on. So that's, of course, hairstyle number one. And then I'm going to give you guys one more hairstyle because I, it came with four of them. So I'm going to put one on the other side. And it kind of looks like a roller set. Like, it mimics a roller set, but it's not. And it was so quick, so easy. And, like, it's so cute. Like, oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? This quick hairstyle? Come on now. Come on, y'all. Come on now. Y'all ain't got no reason to not... Uh, uh, y'all ain't got no reason not to slay. There we go. Come on. Okay, so this is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the volume that I wanted. The volume that I was looking for. If you found this the slightest bit informative, like comment subscribe let me know the do's and don'ts what you would and won't do thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed it and i would love to see some of you guys so send me some of those pictures of those beautiful braid outs and i'll be sure to post them thank you so much you guys have a great day